We all know Adobe Photoshop has been an industry standard, preferred by some of the world's top visual artists for decades. But it does not come with a reasonable price for those who only use it for basic photo editing or only use it occasionally for their needs. So if you're looking for a free Photoshop alternative that offers similar features, then this video will definitely help you narrow down your search to pick the perfect one for you. So without further ado, let's get into the video. As our first alternative, we have Photoscape X. Photoscape X is free photo editing software that offers a lot of tools and features, making it a favorite among both beginners as well as experienced editors. You can access various editing functions such as batch editing, screen captures, animated GIFs, raw image processing, filters and effects, image stitching, and other features as well. From these features, their batch editing is a great tool for users who need to edit multiple photos at once, and it can save you a lot of time. And it comes with another feature called Splitter, which allows you to split your photos into multiple pieces. Also, the controls for each tool are simple, and you don't need to spend much time to learn them. So overall, Photoscape X is a zero-cost Photoshop alternative with tons of tools for you to try. Coming in at number four, we have Pixlr. Pixlr is a very user-friendly browser-based online photo editor with lots of photo editing and AI features people are looking for. You can use Pixlr Express to do quick edits with limited features and use their cool new AI tools to easily edit your photos. Or you can use Pixlr Editor, which has advanced editing tool and looks very similar interface to Adobe Photoshop. Also, they have same set of tools that has similar capabilities, making this is a great alternative to Adobe Photoshop. Not only that they have other tool, including Template Designer, which has hundreds of free templates to choose from, background remover, AI image generator, and a batch photo editor for bulk photo editing. They also have some paid plans, but their free plan can be almost enough for most of your needs. Coming in at number three, we have Krita. Krita is a free and open source digital painting software designed for artists, illustrators, and animators. Even though it's a great painting tool for digital artists, you can also use it as an alternative to Adobe Photoshop. If you are familiar with Adobe programs, you'll quickly get the hang of Krita because of the similar interface. Also, it has an extensive brush collection with fantastic blending modes and templates. Krita also supports drawing tablets, plus you can work on multiple projects at once. Unless you're doing very complicated editing, you won't miss any feature from Adobe Photoshop while working on Krita. Coming in at number two, we have Photop. Photop is another browser-based photo editor with a very accurate Photoshop-inspired layout. You have all your tools on the left side and the layer panel on the right side. It supports many file formats, including PSD files. Plus, you can even save your files as a PSD file. And it even supports both raster and vector graphics. There are seven different themes you to choose from, and you can even change the language if you want. Also, they have a pre-made template gallery that has mock-ups, YouTube thumbnails, banners, cover images, and much more. As our best alternative to Adobe Photoshop, we have GIMP. GIMP is a free and open source image editing software that's available in Windows, Mac, and Linux systems. When it comes to editing photos, GIMP has everything you could need, including layer masking, noise reduction, gradients, color adjustment tools, and filters. GIMP is also famous for the wide variety of plugins that it can offer to its users. It supports many file formats, including PSD files, and you have a fully customizable interface. The only downsides about GIMP is the interface is a little bit cluttered, and it has a slight learning curve to get familiar with the software. But you can learn anything about the software from their website. Plus, there are so many tutorials on YouTube that can help you to learn from. So, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel, and I will catch you guys in next time.